Smart Geese Vlogs coming at you. Let's get it! Say tell me. Smart Geek here, back with another story time. And to let y'all know, I'll be dropping story times every Friday. So comment in the comments below what y'all want to hear, what y'all want me to, you know, upload and everything. Before we get into the video, I want y'all to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button too, so y'all can get notifications to every new video I upload. So let's get into it. So my first fight, so my first fight, I was in fifth grade. And I now I'm in 10, so I was like seven years old at the time. And the boy I fought, I'm not gonna say his name, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna just call him Jay. And Jay had a girlfriend, and I'm not gonna say her name, her name, I'm gonna just name her K. So K was Jay, dating Jay, and one time I, I was talking to her, right? I was making her laugh, and she was touching all over me. When I say touching all over me, she was like touching my like, hands and all that. And then one time I got off the bus, and I went to the cafeteria to go get some breakfast. And at the time, when you're at elementary school, when you went, I went to Golly too, went to Golly Station. As you're in elementary school, you get to eat breakfast in class. So I took my breakfast to class, and then as I was eating my breakfast, because I was waiting on my teacher to get, uh, you know, set up class and everything, as she was waiting on every student coming to her class, right? So as she was waiting on them, everybody, I was finishing breakfast and everything, threw it away. Ugh, threw it away. And then we was watching CNN, CNN student news. As we was watching that, we finished watching that, um, everybody came in and I was ready. So it was a reading class. So as you know, every time we go, we was reading a book, I think it was The Hatchet. So as we were reading that, we got to like the end of the book, cause we were reading the book a couple of months ago. As we was finishing that, uh, we had to do we had to like write a, write a uh, summary about it, what we read. So as we was doing that, did my turn my name, and then after that, we had to go to our next class to Miss Abbott. Miss Abbott is a math teacher. Whoever know who Miss Abbott is, oh uh, man, you already know she is very strict, and very, very disrespectful. <laughs> so we went to Miss Abbott. As we, as I went to Miss Abbott. Uh, we, she was uh, getting us, you know, trying to, re trying to like refresh in our minds about decimal. So like telling us that decimal goes here, that how this decimal works, so like what happens, this decimal has to go here and everything. And then in the middle of the class, some, I think this girl like wrote a note. I think, I, mean, I don't know her name. Yeah, she wrote a note and she passed it to me. Then she said, Jay, I was being confused. I was like, why does he want to fight me? So I looked at her and she says, she nods her head, yes. I was like, okay. And then I bought up the paper and threw it away. She was like, alright. So as we were continuing bad class, we were getting ready to go to lunch. As we went to lunch, we had pizza and some something else. I don't know. We had pizza, so I got grabbed my lunch, went to the table, ate it, and then I was waiting on. We we was all waiting for our teacher to come back, to come get us, so we can go back, so we can go to recess, right? So as she came and got us, we went to recess, and as we went to recess, she brought all the play toys out: basketball, football, soccer, tennis ball, basketball, tennis ball. And as she did all that, I was playing football, and then Jay was looking at me different, right? But I say he was giving me the most devilish look that I've ever seen. He, my homeboy, you know, came up to me and said, "You know, John wants to fight you." I'm like, "Yeah, um, girl told me that in class." He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "You know why he wants to fight you?" I'm like, "No." He's like, "He caught you talking to a girl." I like oh, okay, and I tell him, I didn't know he had a girlfriend because he's so he is so disrespectful. He's the most disrespectful kid in the class, right? So I didn't know K was going out with him. And when I say K is pretty like K, 
she's she's all right. She's fine. So, K was his girlfriend, and I did not know that. And I think he, I think he like saw her touching all over my hand. You know that he was, she was all touching all, touching all over me. I think he saw all of that, and then he got pretty mad. I I think that's what happened. And then, but he said, yeah, I'm like for real. And then I was like, all right, whatever, you know, going on with my day. And then as Jay, as then, you know, we did a coin toss so we could take our football game. And Jay was a captain and I was a captain. And this was going to be pretty bad. And then as Jay picked this team, I picked mine. And Jay kicked it over to us and everything. I returned it. I started running the ball and I started pointing it and then I lost sight of Jay. <laughs> when I say I lost sight of Jay, oh my goodness. When I say he came out of nowhere, boom. He hit me all on my side. When I say I couldn't breathe for, for a good two minutes. When I say he knocked the wind out of me for a good two minutes. Oh my goodness. Now that 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 hit me in my head to know that this was serious. This was no game. Alright. So as I got up, I looked at him. And I was saying to my mind, do that shit again. I'm done. Alright? So as we were continuing to play the football game, you know what I'm saying? And everything. And it was his ball because we already scored the touchdown. Alright? So as he was running the ball, when I say he was running towards me, I pushed him real hard. Push him. Like, you know how somebody, like, push him, they go all the way back and all that. That's how he went. Push him like a Superman punch. So as he did that, he hopped up and got in my face. And then, I don't know what he said. Yeah, but, because it was, it was real windy outside. Um, and then, I really didn't mind it, so I just continued the game. And then after that, after all, like, after, like, football game was over and everything my side won it was time to go in so i was gathering all the uh, all the um equipment and everything so we can go to class and you know finish our um subject so we can go go home and as we was going home I, I mean as we like getting ready to go back to class you know jay i think he threw the football at me i think he threw the football and then at the point, I was getting pissed. And when I was saying I was done, I was done, right? So I looked at him. He said, fuck you. I'm like, damn, that nigga pissed. So I, I got everything, right? As, as I was walking to him, I said, where you want to fight at? He said, he said, where you live? I said, Newport. He said, I live there too. I'm like, all right. So he said, so when you want to, I said, when you want to do this? He said, when we get off the bus. I was like, alright, cool. And now, when I say, when I walked up to him, everybody was crawling us. Everybody made a big ass circle. And then, I was like, what the hell y'all doing? <laughs> we not been to fight here. And then, everybody was getting, I, was like, I think, like, people were riding our bus who weren't supposed to ride a bus. So, I was like, um, how are you going to get home? <laughs> so, as we went upstairs, went to the classroom and everything. As we went to the classroom, uh, we got done with our subject, and then Miss App said we got free time. So we was playing games and all that, and then as class was over, she, you know, told me to gather everything, and then I gathered everything and put them back where they were supposed to go. And then when you're in like in elementary school, you have to wait in class for them to call your bus, and then you go to the bus ramp. Cause that's what we were doing so i was waiting for them to call my bus and then john i mean not john jay call him john, jay rode my bus too and his girlfriend rode my bus too <laughs> so everybody knew it was finna bite everybody knew it was finna go down so as and to let y'all know we was, we was the very last like drop off like when the bus drops people out we the very last one. Yeah, but like this day, I think the fight was on a I think it was on Wednesday. And this day she dropped us off she dropped us off early and I was a little bit confused. I'm like, alright, whatever. 
So, got off the bus. Everybody, when I say like, almost like half of the bus got off the bus. Man, got off the bus, me and Jay faced up. We was waiting, waiting for the bus to leave. Bus left, came up to me. He said, what's good? He pushed me. As I fell to the ground, got up, pushed him. And then this went on, almost killed him. He spit on me. Now, I don't tolerate that. Nobody tolerates that. Okay? When I hit this nigga real hard in the jaw. Boom. When I say I think I think I I think I chipped one of his tooth too. Hit him real hard in the jaw. Boom. He hit me in my eye. Mm. Oh my god, then he gave me a black eye too. And then as he hit me in my eye, like my blood vessels, like half of my half of my eye was red. Blood vessels. Blood vessels popped. So as we was fighting, I broke his nose and busted his lip because I wasn't having it. Like that one eye, it was done. Then he cut me right. I don't know how he cut me. I think I think he hit me real hard or something like that. And then he cut like that's how I got that like scar right here, right here, because he hit me and then my busted wide open. And then as we was fighting, I, I was hitting him. I was hitting my body, man. And then. As we was fighting, I think somebody told me I broke his arm because he didn't come to school the next day. He didn't come to school the next day. The next day, he he had a cast on his arm and because he, he posted it all on um, Instagram and everything. And he said, in the cast again. So I was a little bit confused. I was like, how I broke your arm? He was walking home, like, fine. <laughs> so as we was fighting, he was kneeing me in my stomach and everything, trying to bend, like, trying to break my wrist and shit. I was like, get the fuck off me and nothing. Then, as that, we just went home. He part of our weight. And then, I think his mom found out about the fight. And I think she tried to find where we live, but she, I think she, she couldn't. Because I think he wasn't telling her. I, mean, I think he told her, didn't tell her. Just told her on the street. Yeah, but... He didn't come to school the next day because he had a cast on. I didn't know how I broke his arm. And then after that, K stopped talking to me. I said, K stopped fucking with me. I said, because she talked to me every day. And I was kind of pissed because she was, she, was a, she was a cool girl. Oh, my goodness. And I was like, I was, I was kind of bummed out about it. But I'm like, fuck it. I'm, like, I'm seven years old. Like, don't really give a fuck. I was continuing on my day playing basketball in my neighborhood. And then that was pretty much it. That's the first time I got in a fight. <laughs> yeah, but once in the story, don't talk to anybody's bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if y'all like this video, hit that like button. You know, subscribe. You know, hit that notification button to get notifications to every video I upload and no peace.